If you look behind me, our learning shelf is empty. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up our team learning shelf. So let's get started. I always start with books. Books are wonderful ways to get your children excited about the different learning teams. Now the team for our learning shelf this month is at the hospital. So last week, I made a trip to our local library and picked out these books that are related to the hospital team. I also gathered the hospital team books that we have at home. Now that we have all the books that we need, let's put them aside and move on to the activities. On the table, you can see some of the activities I have prepared for this hospital team shelf. Everything you see here is from my activity membership, the Happy Learners Club. Every month, I put together an activity guide filled with fun, hands-on learning activities, a printable pack, and a book list based on a team. Then, I send these resources to my members. Using these resources, Busy parents can now create these fun activities and set up a team learning shelf easily. Like this baby nursery calendar activity, I print out the printable, write the dates on the printable, cut out the pictures of the babies and place everything in this basket and tray. And the activity is ready. I like to spend a morning to batch create 5 to 8 activities, so I have enough activities for the week. But not everything you see here will go up the learning shelf because having so many exciting, fun and new activities on the shelf at the same time is going to overwhelm the children. Here are two general rules of thumb when it comes to the number of activities on a learning shelf. One, less is always more. Two, the younger your child, the lesser the number of activities on the shelf. You can also follow this ratio, one new activity per year of age, up to a maximum of four new activities on the learning shelf. So you are looking at just one new activity for a one-year-old baby, two new activities for a two-year-old toddler, three for three-year-old preschoolers, and up to four new activities for preschoolers who are four years old and older. Take note that so far I am referring to the new activities here, meaning activities that your children have not seen or tried before. So for these new activities, children are most excited about them. And they will most probably need your guidance and instruction as they work on these activities for the first time. Once they have gone through the activities, the novelty feeling wears off and they become familiar with how the activities work. These activities now become what I call the old activities. If these old activities are reusable, it is always a good idea to put them back on the learning shelf so that your children have a chance to work on these activities again if they want to. So except on day one where everything on the shelf is new, for the rest of the days, we usually have a mix of old and new activities on our learning shelf. New activities keep the children excited and the old activities encourage mastery and develop children's confidence. The maximum number of old and new activities we have on our learning shelf at any one time is between 3 to 5 activities. This number will depend on your children's age and the size of your learning shelf. Now we are ready to fill up our learning shelf. These books are going up the learning shelf first. Let's stack them at the side of the shelf. I also like to feature one or two books by placing them forward facing like this. This allows my children to see the beautiful covers of these featured books and they will be more interested to pick up the books to read. Every other day, I will rotate the featured books so children get to see all of the books during the month. Next up, the activities are going up the shelf. Based on your child's age, you will display a different number of activities. My child is 3 years old, so I am going to start with just 3 activities on the shelf to kick off the team. Let's talk about activity rotation now. During the week, I will add one or two new activities every day. I will remove some of the activities that my child has completed 
and replace them with the new ones. If there is an activity that my child is working on, or one she is particularly interested in, like this X-ray memory game, and this activity is reusable, I will leave it on the shelf for a longer time. If my child is not interested in an activity, I will remove it and introduce it again another day. At any one time, we usually have 3 to 5 old and new activities on our shelf. Let's talk about storage solutions on a learning shelf. You can see on our learning shelf, all our activities are inside baskets, bowls, clipboards and trays. Now these storage solutions, they are very helpful to keep the activities and materials organized on a learning shelf. Children can also find everything that they need for an activity in one place. So if my child wants to work on this activity, she just have to take this basket to the table and she can work on the activity right away. And after she is done with the activity, she will put all the materials back into this basket and bring this basket back to the shelf. So cleanup is very easy for children as well. And there you have it, our learning shelf is ready and I have added a signage as well. Now it is time to invite my child to explore the learning shelf. If you have any other questions about setting up a team learning shelf for your children, bring it to the comments. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.